time to change the brake disc on my bike. Well, the project bike. That's never ending. Let's get into it. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. I hope you're all well. So this uh, video is all about, uh, yeah, the uh, Rehu uh, 125 uh, project build that's uh, been finished for quite a while now. Uh, but still uh, having to tinker with it quite a lot. Anyway, uh, so now it's the uh, front brake disc. Uh, I believe uh, mine is truly warped. Um, I didn't want to believe it. I thought it was a caliper. I think I, my caliper is pretty uh, duff, the brake caliper that is uh, at that, the front anyway. But uh, that is, well, a work in progress, let's say. But the brake disc on mine, I think, is uh, quite worn out. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can quickly test this at home uh, for your bike, any bike. Um, now, if you watched some of my previous videos uh, with the Harley, I showed a very basic way of doing it. But I think to get a nice mark of visual representation, you can just do it with a, a permanent marker pen. Right, let me show you. On marker bit of tape of any description and uh, you basically stick it on the uh, the fork let me uh, let me show you right get the front wheel up in the air by whichever means whether you've got a motorcycle lift or a jack or anything like that uh, and basically you want to get your marker and you want to uh, tape it or rest it so it's just touching the disc so it marks the disc you can see I've just marked the disc there okay so but you want to hold it in that position and you're holding that position by taping it to the the fork leg basically so let me just do that so pop it next to the disc and then tape the pen down like so right you might have to hold it in place the tape really just acts as a bit of a uh, a bit of extra stability really while you're holding the pen down right anyway so what you do uh you just make sure it's touching right keep it in position and then all you need to do is just spin your wheel all right and what you're looking for is any kind of deviation in where it uh stops you see so right now you can see you know, the thick line thick line thick line and then right here it gets a bit thinner very thin hardly anything at all Right, and then I've just uh, released it now. So there we go. So I know it's pretty warped. I couldn't tell you by how much. I couldn't tell you what the tolerance is. You need a special instrument for that. But, you know, this is kind of a, a home way of doing it. Now, when I first measured it, maybe my uh, hands were wobbling a little bit. I didn't think it was uh, that much at all. And... Uh, Whilst I've been ruling out everything else, like the calipers and uh, the master cylinder, um, I think this pulsating which I've been having is down to the disc. And uh, in most cases, it is. Okay, so in absolute most cases, it was. Uh, but I thought I might have had problems with the caliper. Don't think it's that. So anyway, I've got a new, uh, new disc. I'm going to put it on. Need to get these bolts off first. And one is snapped as well. Uh, so I need to uh, get that out. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to loosen these off whilst the wheel is on the bike. Uh, and I think I'll just get more purchase that way. Probably not the right way to do it. I'm sure, you know, others would say take the wheel off. Uh, but I think, you know, I'll, I'll have better purchase. Let me try. Let me try and do that. Right. And you can see the one that's missing right here. It's actually snapped in there on the hub. Right. This is a, a T30. Um, the heads are pretty damaged on there, so I'm going to have to try and uh, get that out with an extractor tool. But let me just see if I can at least just loosen them off, uh, all of them. Uh, that's all I need to do, and then I can take it all off properly uh, on the bench. Right. Great. Right. Uh, those are loosened off. Just need to take the wheel off now and uh, pop it on the bench. See you in a bit. <sighs> right, the wheel is off. Um, not sure if you saw that on the video, so I'm gonna quickly uh, show you the marking. You can see possibly here where it's a really thick pen mark, and then it gets lighter and lighter there. And that's where I took the pen off there, but it's from this point now, that point there. So I, I'm pretty sure this is a pulsating, uh, which is what causing the pulsating anyway. So let me just take this off 
and see about extracting this bolt. Basically, I've got these little bolt extractors. Uh, I need to drill into it, uh, into the bolt. Uh, center punch it first, drill into it, and then reverse turn it out. Hopefully this will work. This is supposed to grip onto it as as you you know as you uh, as you turn it. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully. Now, as one of these is broken, they're all pretty well. They're scored up a little bit. I mean, you can see one here, there. So I've got uh, these on back order. Would you believe? I've tried to get them, but they you know just generic ones. But actually quite difficult because they've got that specific distance, that uh, extra sleeve on it, as it were. I'm sure I could find them. I'm going to try and find extra ones of these anyway. But uh, right, so that's uh, that's it. This is a replacement. There we go. Like for like. Just slightly different markings. And they've also got the recesses exactly the same pattern. Just make sure that goes in there. Yep, it does. Right, let me just see. Put these next to each other. I couldn't tell you what the the um, the limitation on this for warping is. Uh, I really don't know. There, there does seem to be a slight gap on the one side, but when I'm, there seems to be a bit of play here. And there's nothing there, bit of play there. Yeah, here, this point here. So look, and funny enough, that is where the light mark is from that point to that point. I don't know. I mean, I, I I don't know how I would measure that properly without a special tool. But I'm not going to throw this away, first of all. I'm going to see if, obviously, putting this new disc on does indeed cure that uh, pulsating. Um, if it doesn't, then obviously it isn't a disc issue. So I might just put the old disc back on and just have this as a, a really good new spare, as it were. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get this bolt out. It's right there. Look at that. Out come the glasses. The bolt is sheared off at an angle, so I'm trying to angle this center punch and then straighten up afterwards. All right, I'm gonna try with the smallest one that I've got and see how it works. I mean, I think it's only a six mil M6 anyway. Right, drill a very small hole. Let me go up one size drill. I think I've actually spun it round and it's actually gone into the hollow of the hub. Well, would, I was all expecting uh, to have to use this extractor tool but the motion of the drill has actually spun the um, the nut shaft and uh, drilled it in. Just want to make sure that I haven't uh, done anything here, which I shouldn't have done. There you go, look, it's fine. Well, what a turn up, eh? What a turn up. Right, so all I need to do is obviously uh, put this back on and uh, tighten it all up and, uh, well, wait for this other bolt to come. But right, quite pleased with that. What a what a result. The problem with the, these extractors is that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It depends what you've got. And I, I've just completely lucked out here that this was, you know, all okay. But there we go. Right, let me put this on. I'm going to check the torque settings. Hold on. All details of the Sir Riju project build are all on the website as well, so go check it out if you're interested. And I'm updating the page all the time, and I'm uh, updating this uh, page uh, or handout, PDF handout for talk figures, because they don't really list them on the bike, would you believe? Let me just see here. Uh, Canapa, I haven't got it right. Okay, brake disc bolts. 13 Newton meters, it says there. 
Okay, it's another bike, but it's very similar. So in the absence of actually knowing what they are, because they, they basically off the, here they just go off uh, what the diameter is off the bolt. Right, let me just check that. Yeah, so this is for the engine bolts here. So if it's got a 12 mil head and a, a, a six mil, so an eight mil internal diameter, uh, it's a 15 Newton meters. Um, but 10 mil head and a six mil uh, shaft is six newton meters. That's way too low. So I, in the absence of actually knowing what it is, I'm going to go buy that manual of another bike. Granted, but it's very similar. They share a lot of parts. Uh, I'm going to uh, do it this, and I'm actually going to go 13 newton meters uh, on here. Right, thread lock. That's what I need. So, so that's it. I'll put these in and a um, bit of thread lock and put it back on the, the on the wheel and hopefully uh, that will all sort it out but there we go uh, I was going to try and uh, give you a really good video about uh, extracting uh, broken nuts but uh, I lucked out really didn't I uh, anyway so this is the the new brake disc it's uh, going on the bike uh, literally I'm going to talk these down I think do you know what I might wait before I do this um and see if i can actually go and find other brake uh brake disc bolts from somewhere and then i can talk them all down at the same time i don't want to just have uh an empty spot really because i think i might just might be inducing a bit of warpage there, and i don't really want to do that so uh what i'll do i'll tighten them up in a, in a star pattern the usual thing and uh and away i go but look i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hold off so i'll leave it there but that's it. That's how you replace a brake disc, basically. Now, I have no idea whether it's good practice or bad practice to try and take them off uh, whilst on the bike. I mean, you saw the wheel spinning there. So I suppose if you wanted to be picky, I should have let the front wheel down so it didn't rotate. But I mean, I just jammed it against the caliper and, and uh, you know, it worked OK. Um, you know, it's not. I, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. You've probably got a good purchase here as well, in all fairness. Um, I was just a bit concerned about the the state of these bolt heads, uh, whether the uh, the Torx bit, which is a T30, whether it would round itself off. But uh, anyway, they work, they fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just uh, hold off, put this all back together, and on to the next uh, little job to do, which there are many, I am sure. Uh, but uh, there we go. Job done. Time for a coffee, as I say. But if, you have, if you're interested in this project build, obviously there's a playlist on the uh, YouTube channel. There's also a dedicated page, the Rehu uh, Marathon AC SM125 project build on the, uh, on the website. There's a link in the sidebar as well, so for you to go direct to the page. Or you can look under all the petrol motorcycles, look up at Rehu motorcycles and you'll find it there. Uh, but um, it, I suppose it's about just trying to narrow down what something um what the problem could be and i think before you spend any money you try and rule out other possibilities even if they are vague possibilities and i think that's what i did with these pulsating brakes off, off the front brake uh i think you know i thought well I, let me look at the 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 caliper again let me look at the uh the cylinder let me look at the wheel alignment so you know all, all that kind of stuff and i think you know what let me just look again at this brake disc and i, I think i was right you know it's it's very hard to say i mean I, brake disc warpage it really depends on the bike which it is and how much is allowed but it isn't much it isn't much at all i mean you know we're not talking 10 mil here or something we're talking you know a decimal of a mil uh you know 0.3.4 mil maybe maybe not even that um so so there we go right now i'm just looking at the markings to see if there's anything on here where it says what the uh the uh the warpage should be but anyway it doesn't but there we go right uh on to the next thing don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatealf.com right ta-da